Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane E, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Have I said the phrase comedy music enough times? Anyway, what that usually means is that sometimes I'm dissecting the jokes, kind of explaining the meaning behind the visuals or the joke itself, seeing how the video uh, helps amplify the jokes, and sometimes that means just sitting back and enjoying the video and occasionally talking about it. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get on this show, but I think it's a good time. And also, I do pause the video because they're comedy songs. I don't want my laughter or my commentary to go over the jokes and have me have to miss them. So there is pausing a lot in these videos. This week, we are reacting to Robin Hood vs. Guy Fox rap battle by Freshy Canal, featuring the Stupendium as Guy Fox and Little Flex as Robin Hood, plus apparently many other guests. You, of course, can see that original video linked in the description below. But, uh, yes, if you do like these types of reactions and the things that I do here on this channel, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things that feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs on these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where you get to see these videos early, get my music early, and all sorts of other cool things like that. I think that's enough of the intro. I think I've got this down to a science now after over a hundred reactions. Uh, whatever, maybe not, who cares. Anyway, let's watch this thing. Yeah. Artwork's very nice. Speak of Robin Hood, but they don't got his flow. He will panic and dilly dally in under the throne. I'll be hijacking it at the palace, the plunder of the gold, and then get back on my study and gallop into papa with the friend in the broke with the money that the monarchy stole. Rapping fast. Uh, yeah. You know, kind of going into the idea that there have been many stories about Robin Hood, but it's kind of unclear on whether or not Robin Hood was an actual real person. And the stories have changed a lot, and there have been, like, literary. Uh, changes to it and and just adjustments for the story for for literary purposes and whatnot. It's a legend. Not certain if there was an actual real person, but uh, saying that this Robin Hood is is the best, the one that Little Flex is playing and rapping fast with. Oh, they maybe leave a little gift behind for the rich to find out what kind of present doesn't come with a bow. <laughs> kind of present doesn't come with a bow, like a bow, an arrow, and a bow on a... That's very good. Yeah, because uh, Guy Fox was, was beheaded right? And put his head on the... at, at the thing? Or, uh, I know that he was probably drawn and quartered and tortured and all that stuff, too. It could... it was tortured so much he couldn't sign his name on the thing that was saying the act that he was going to commit, the, the bombing. Uh, but I, I don't remember if they, they cut his head off and put it on the pike and at, at the, uh... I cannot think of the name of the place brain can't today with words. I've been writing songs that are coming out soon, uh, and, uh, and all of my words are gone. That's great. That's a good, that's great for a reaction show, isn't it? Fun. Super good times. All right. This time make sure your matchstick works when I send you more underground than the Catholic Church. <laughs> Those are great lines. Yeah, I was going to blow up the Parliament. That's the place he was going to blow up. I was going to blow up Parliament, and, uh, and then, uh, wasn't able to get get it done and was caught before he could make the explosion happen. Yes. Talking about Guy Fox, obviously not Robin Hood. Robin Hood didn't do that. That's different. The persecuted couldn't get married and got a mass and worse. You had to put on your grandma's shirt. But what does a man in tights know about that? But I do know bells don't go on your hat. Could have blow the kid. The pilgrim look with the belt on the hat. And Stoops actually doing the visuals for this one. I, I reacted to another one by, by, by Freshy that had Stupendium doing the vocals, but did not play Count Olaf, I think it was, from Lemony Snicket. 
uh, did not play them in the visuals, but they played them uh, vocally. Uh, but yes, good to see that everybody here is representing themselves, or the characters that they're playing, I mean, yes. I send you more underground than the Catholic Church You were persecuted, couldn't get married and got a mass and worse You had to put on your grandma's shirt What does a man in tights know about that? But I do know... Man in tights, of course, Robin Hood men in tights being the Mel Brooks version of the Robin Hood story. Bells don't go on your hat, could have blow the king dead, but at least you're remembered by making dogs piss themselves every 5th of November. How did you... Making dogs piss themselves every 5th of November, because the whole plot of blowing up Parliament, remember, remember the 5th of November, uh, dogs piss themselves, meaning the fireworks that go off. Dogs are, don't like fireworks, usually, especially here in America, when the 4th of July happens, and everybody sets off fireworks. Most pets tend to run in fear of the explosions. And also, why celebrate war and those with PST, PTSD, PSTD, PTSD with the sound of explosions. Why does that? Why is that the way we do things? Uh, sure, it does make sense. Uh, dude's flow is amazing. This is this is fantastic. I was a tosses of pillow pilgrims and dunces Who like gunpowder, the bloody blunder and buzz It was in your plot, you were following orders So I'll be another rub that you're taking the fool for Just fantastic lines in that first verse Just absolutely fantastic And I can hear them flooding all the way from my forest and nodding And your fellow was a tosses of pillow pilgrims and dunces Who like gunpowder, the bloody blunder and buzz It was in your plot, you were following orders So I'll be another rub that you're taking the fool for Pills with the rhymes of Robin Hood you should pill for some dope or raps But hey, you successfully robbed me Of a minute of my life that I won't get back That's all in an 80 year battle Shed blood so the Spanish flag could fly Compare that to your little ballads They read like a Peter Pantomime Peter Pantomime Because Peter Pan Was dressed very similarly to Robin Hood All the green, the hat, and the Yes, that's a good line of a minute of my life that I won't get back I fought in an 80 year battle Shed blood so the Spanish flag could fly Compare that to your little ballads They read like a Peter pantomime I've got a divinity for artillery So don't bring a bow to a can of fight If you want to trade blows Robin Hood I will set you in your stock market app alike Yeah, because there's a stock market app called Robin Hood was, A lot of people were using that when the uh, GameStop stocks were going up And they were... Stocks are a thing that I know about. That I know exist, and that's the extent of my lot knowledge. Uh, but yeah, I know it's Robin Hood's an app. Uh, interesting flow diversion here between the two verses. Robin Hood's is very fast, and, and uh, Guy Fawkes' here is more metered. Uh, not nearly as, as spitting quick, but... Uh, Definitely still some good lines. Look at you just being consistent. You hate the rich, yet your mates were richer. If I you just can't take commitment. Marry you for waiting for a wedding day to finish. Hate the rich, but friends with Richard. It's funny on two reasons. Uh, number one, hate the rich, friends with rich. Rich is a shortening of Richard. Uh, but also King Richard was a, you know, he was the king. And you were friends with the king. He's the rich. Yeah, good stuff. The bit about Maid Marian, also good. Also great line. The whole bit about bringing bows to a cannon fight in the previous lines, good stuff. Infecting a thief like it's plagiarism. That's a great line. Like plagiarism, but infecting the plague was an illness that, yeah, you get it. And is that Schwabity? Yeah, that's, that's Schwabity is uh, Little John, I think. Oh! Is that Breeden? Okay, we gotta go back. I'm a deadly disease with this cadence rhythm, and I'm infected a thief like it's plagiarism. For a 
my hood roast. I expected hot stuff, but there's not much the minister so could knock up. Yeah. John Johnson sucks like Prince John Snorms. He got hung on what a little John's John's. Yeah. He got hung more than Little John's Johnson, uh, because Little John was a big man, therefore was well hung, and hung more, meaning like from a from a thing, from a, a rope. The the line before that uh, didn't I mean, go back far enough. John Johnson, so John Johnson sucks like Prince John's thumbs. Every time in the Disney adaptation of Robin Hood, with all the animals, the anthropomorphic things that awakened things in young furries. Uh, every time Prince John would get attacked or smacked or something, he would start sucking his thumb. That's a that's a great inclusion in there. You gotta include the Disney version. That's great. I guess that's Friar Tuck. Uh, I'm not sure who that is. I think. I think that might be based all off, but I'm not sure, and I don't know who the person in the back is. Don't get within range of the British Hawkeye when you're shot bullshit in mine. The British Hawkeye, like Hawkeye from Marvel, from the MCU, who's always using a bow and arrow. The Green Arrow of Marvel. Green Arrow was based on Robin Hood. That would have been a, a closer approximation because he was very much into not really robbing the rich he himself was rich but also stood up for the poor um, the world's first very liberal superhero uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, he like it, Hawkeye rhymes with more things I think is the reason they went with that one but you know whatever he split Robin's arrow in twain! Spittle. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Another amazing verse. Really fast, but some excellent lines in there. Some of my sacrifice. The kid knew that he'd have to hang me twice. Yes, they cut my balls off, but I still go pick up bollocks and a very merry man combined. The Merry Men, uh, Robin's uh, band. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, he, they. They cut off his private parts before drawing and quartering him and cutting off his head. That was part of the torture that he went through when they caught him because he was unable to blow up the parliament. Yes, all the things. I don't know who Dan Bull is playing, but that is clearly Dan Bull. <laughs> There's only one lord I talk to, and not not a British lord, but the lord. Uh, great lines. <laughs> then I'll fight a fox with fox. Good. It always kind of stuns us when we hear Stupendium swear in a song, and it usually happens in a song that's not theirs, in a song that they're guesting on, other than British Summer Jam, which we reacted to a couple weeks ago, which was their song. Uh, but, you know, I don't know why that stuns me, or the viewers here. Um, it shouldn't. They're a person. They swear. I don't swear in my songs, but I swear a lot in real life. And occasionally, my older work has a swear or two in it. I'm not a prude. It doesn't affect my enjoyment of a song either way. It's just something when you're used to not hearing it and then suddenly hearing it, you're gonna notice. It'd be like if Weird Al suddenly dropped an F-bomb. And Weird Al doesn't even swear in real life. Supposedly. But anyway. And 
that's also great because yeah, he was dragged by a horse. That's part of being drawn and quartered is usually you're tied up to four horses and they all run in opposite directions and gooey. Verses are so girthy they're like Friar Tuck. Wow, that's <laughs> wow. Curtsying burglars, cause they're the merry men, and you know they're wearing tunics and tights. The men in tights. It's a Robin Hood men in tights thing, and yeah, it's a whole. And also, it's a it's a play on like you know, calling someone less than. <laughs> How I got burnt and turned into fine dust. It's good. For a time, Bubba Blockley ventured to my hood and thought that his block was better. I'll show this archer some honest intentions when I chop off his fingers like V for Vendetta. <laughs> v for Vendetta, which was, of course, uh, the Alan Moore comic that the main character V fashioned himself against uh, Guy Fox, wearing a Guy Fox mask and also trying to blow up Parliament. But also, that is, when throwing up the V, in America, that's be the same as throwing up the middle finger. Uh, throwing up the V is, I mean, doing it that way is, is more of a, as a swear. But also, because, wait, wait, wait a second here. When I chop off his fingers, when I chop off his fingers like V for Vendetta, archers use these two fingers to pull a bowstring back. So uh, when archers were captured and and you know interrogated, threatened to to be tortured, they would threaten to cut off these two fingers so they wouldn't be able to fire a bow again. Cut them off like V for Vendetta, because you make the V with your fingers. That's a great triple. That's fantastic. <laughs> Little Flex is Robin Hood. Stupendium is Guy Fawkes. This was a fantastic battle. Uh, Freshie and company, you guys have outdone yourselves. This was fantastic. Uh, some amazing lines in there. Not overly humorous, but still some good punch lines uh, in there. Uh, really, really dug that. Um, who else was in this? Schwabity is Much the Miller's son. Okay. Breton Boy is Will Scarlet. Nice. Based Olaf is Friar Tuck. And Lawless Marshall is Little John. Don't know who Lawless Marshall is. Uh, I thought Schwabity was Little John because of the outfit. I was just wrong. Uh, it was based Olaf. I was right. <laughs> All right, we got Freshy Canal as David of Doncaster, Afro Legacy as Alan Adale. I don't remember that. Cosfia as Royal Guard One, and Connor Quest as Royal Guard Two. Um, I met Schwabity and Connor uh, and Rustage and Campsetti and a whole bunch of people at NPC recently, which was really really awesome time. Um, Dan Bull is King James the First. Okay, that makes sense because he was kind of repping against Guy Fox there uh, after Guy got captured. Yeah, makes sense. Just mean mugging. That was that was a fantastic battle. Congrats to everyone involved. That was fantastic. I'm gonna let this play out here. A lot of VFX, great editing. I will say, uh, of all the channels that do the ERB style of rap battles uh, with the edits and the clones of different characters rapping and coming in on different lines and the verses and everything and everything being done on a green screen for the backgrounds and whatnot. Uh, Freshy stuff tends to be the most high quality and the most on par with the ERB stuff. This is, this is an excellent battle and this has got a lot of great 
cameos from a lot of great uh, artists in here. This was this was really, 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 really well done. So bravo to everyone involved. Lawless Marshall did some directing, as did Schwabity and Stupendium. Storyboard. Okay, Lawless Marshall did costumes and stuff. Costume, uh, costume. Okay, it looks like it's just the instrumental there playing out. That was, that was, and the beat's really great too. So, uh, bravo to everyone. Hope everybody enjoyed that. If you did, please, of course, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs on these videos. And if you want to see more of this and help the channel out a lot more, you can consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to get their names in the end credits after all of me babbling, get to see these videos early, get my music early, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, that's all for this time. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. For your order, I'm a Jedi Master. No one else will ever bring it to your pasta. Brought it to your door, please be sure to tip me after. I'm the one who drove 20 minutes for your pasta. Speaking of, take a minute, think this over. Why order ice cream any month after October? I don't really mind the time to be your meal chauffeur, but it wouldn't melt if it came from somewhere closer. In the mood for some food that's so delicious.